I got my second dose, baby. I don't know when this comes out. <laughs> because this is a fan video. But I'm assuming relatively close to when I got this, so I got my second dose, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever, and I found a movie. Today I'm going to be talking about Way Down Cellar. Way Down Cellar is a 1968 television release. It is directed by Robert Totten, cinematography by William Snyder, editing by Marsh Hendry, music by Will Schaefer, and it's written by Herman Groves. Robert Totten and Will Schaefer, I've covered in previous videos, both found videos actually, and they will be listed and linked in the description. William Snyder is best known for Aloma of the South Seas, The Loves of Carmen, Terry and the Pirates, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. Marsh Hendry is best known for Frank's Place, The Adventures of Bull with Griffin, Screen Director's Playhouse, and The Detectives. Herman Groves is best known for The Thin Man, Fantasy Island, Hawaii Five O, and The Bionic Woman. The film is based off a book by Phil Stong, and I couldn't find a lengthy summary about it. The only thing I could find was it's about boys in Connecticut who drive a woman and her maid mad because they found a secret passage in her house and use it a lot for things. That's literally all I could find. It says it's a classic tale and there's something about the town meeting scene is a classic but there was no further details. And based on this, it sounds like it's nothing like the movie. So I don't know. The film stars Butch Patrick, Sheldon Collins, Lindy Davis, Ben Wright, Richard Bacalayan and Grace Lee Whitney, which Patrick plays Frank and is best known for The Phantom Tollbooth, Monster Go Home, Dickie Roberts' former child star, and Hand of Death. Sheldon Collins plays Beans and is best known for The Time Tunnel, The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming, The President's Analyst, and Star Trek. Lindy Davis plays Skeeter and is best known for The Reavers, My Three Sons, Camp Run Amok, and Mannix. Ben Wright plays Ethan and I covered him in the video about 101 Dalmatians, link will be in the description. Richard Bacalayan, who I'm sure I'm butchering, plays Charlie and is best known for Chinatown, The Fox and the Hound, Van Ryan's Express, and Jag. Grace Lee Whitney plays Velma and she's best known for being in Star Trek. The original video I made for Way Down Cellar was before I started covering the cast and crew in depth, so I didn't really super talk about it. If you're interested in watching that video, I highly encourage it. It's very short and probably like a funny comment or two happens in it. But it is nice to now be back and be able to do a video for it that's really in depth because this is two episodes, two part back on the Wonderful World of Disney when... Magical World of Disney? Wonderful World of Disney, I think. No, it might be Magical World of Disney. I don't know. But it's two parts, two episodes, each 45 minutes. This was very classic for Disney back then. And it was so fun to be back in this era. The late 60s and early 70s, and all of the 70s really, had a lot of television releases that captured what this really feels like, which is kids stumbling upon an adult crime and trying to solve it in some way. And that is exactly what this is. It was really fun to see these three kids do this. My biggest complaint is how mean the kids were to Skeeter. Like, Skeeter was kind of the leader, and then the second Frank came into play, it was like Skeeter was the butt of every joke, and I was not about that. I was kind of mad for Skeeter. They really mistreated him. And his dog Shark. His dog Shark was so cute. But the movie felt so much like so many other movies around that time. Um, let's see. Uh, not the sky's the limit. The kids who knew too much has a very similar feeling. The strange monster of Strawberry Cove has a very similar feeling. Um, I'm sure I could list so many of these. Um, I just have to think of the titles, but there were so many films at this time that were like modern at the time and kids were discovered. Mystery and Dracula's Castle. <laughs> like those kids discovered a crime and had to do something about it. And um, the whiz kid in the mystery at Riverton, they discover an adult crime and try to do something about it. Like, these are all around the same era where they discover a crime and they try to stop it. And in some, the adults don't believe them at first. And in others, the adults take them at their word and are ready to help, which is interesting. And that's what happened in this one. The dad of Frank believes Frank right away and all the adults show up to help. 
which was very refreshing because I feel like in that time it was very common for adults to believe other adults before their own children. I feel like it's coming back to adults believing their children over other adults. So we'll see. Um, but that was what I thought was really entertaining. It was fun to be back in the space of like a strange monster at Strawberry Cove or Mystery in Dracula's Castle or um, Wizkid in the Mystery at River 10 and Way Down Cellar and um, you know, others like that. It was fun to be back in that like kid, or Diamonds on Wheels, I think the kids technically stumble upon a crime, but that one is bad. We don't like that one. <laughs> But uh, it was fun to be back in that era of film. It is very simple. It is very slow paced. Um, but I wasn't mad about it. It was, it did have parts like how much focus was on the football and the team. I get what they were going for. But it felt very disjointed. They didn't feel fluid to me. Like them being on a football team and then like them discovering this crime. It felt like two very separate plots and not like worked together in some way which like could just be me but it felt weird but other than that I enjoyed the film it was fun to be back in the late 60s enjoying a simple slow paced but fun plot like that and to have the kids believed right away and just have them stumble upon a crime and try to fix it. I, it was fun to be back in that era. That's everything I have for Way Down Cellar. I enjoyed this film. My final rating is five footballs out of ten. Our total movie, our original movie count is, and Parent Death Total and Cry Count are actually still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier that starts at just one dollar, so head on over there and check it out. And a lot of benefits come with just one dollar. Just saying. Bye, merch. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe. But I am not in charge of your life. You are, so you do you. And don't be Charlie and Mr. Marcus or Ethan or whatever and Velma about it. Wow, 106. What a time. And now I'm about to hit 500. What a time.